Hi guys. Wait, I'm not ready. Okay. Hi guys, I'm Sean. This is Alyssa. Gus is in our hearts. And, and this, this is in our rabbit hole daily. Uh, and we are back. Yes. And we are reacting to some comedy by yeah, Ver Das. And this one's called Indians Are Racist-ish. Ish. So uh, I, yeah. Yeah, let's jump okay. into it. <laughs> I thought we reacted to this comedian before. Wasn't there one... Was it like white people at Indian weddings? Hmm. Was, or was that someone else? Cause I swear I tried to find our other reaction of like, I put like IRH daily, like yeah. Burgos, and then it, it didn't come up, I, but I'm kind of wondering maybe this, maybe it was, a different maybe we one. haven't seen this comedian, but he was on maybe the Conan show. Is that correct? Maybe you guys can mm -hmm. remind me cause I, I have heard the name before. So yeah. anyways, we're getting to it now and I'm sure we'll check out more okay. after this. Ah, a broad understanding. So he must be uh, hmm. in the West, in New York, maybe even. That's cool. They got the different. Yeah, the Indian clocks colors there. too. There, Indian people. We spend our lives claiming that we're victims of racism, don't we? But yet, all Indians back home. Ah, <laughs> what? <laughs> but it's this strange dichotomous failed racism mixed with like feudalism and servitude in a curry. <laughs> in a curry. <laughs> Like if a beautiful American girl, blonde hair, blue eyes, comes down to Delhi and is walking down the road because she's insane. <laughs> 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 Within two minutes, there will be two fat, balding, paunchy Indian men across the road. <laughs> madam! <laughs> Hello, madam. Think about the dichotomy of that racism. While they are creeping her the fuck out, they are still calling her madam. <laughs> <laughs> Just they're polite. There you is know? respect there. <laughs> <laughs> and look, like most Eastern cultures, our version of racism is what we adapted from what was taught to us by the British. Ah, oh, I knew it. I knew he was going to say it. Brexit yeah. will happen in history, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> It's just the first intentional one, all right? Mm. Britain ruled America, they ruled Africa, they ruled the Orient. I feel like Britain must look at America the way Venus looks at Serena. Like, <laughs> <they're in> you. <laughs> <laughs> you learned this shit from me. <laughs> Love. Uh -huh. I'm going to tell you a story about racism, ladies and gentlemen, and I guarantee you at some point you're going to get uncomfortable, but hang in there with me, there's a good ending. Okay. Mm. So I was surfing in the south of India. A couple of different nationalities, me, a couple of Brits, a couple of Aussies, black guy named Marcus. As Marcus is holding his surfboard, walking down to the beach, he is stopped by a Tamil villager who says, stop, 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 stop. You, you black, blackie. What? Now hang on. This man then goes to his house, wakes up two sleeping children from their afternoon nap as they rub their eyes and says, see, 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 see. Oh no. Blackie. Now I submit to you that that is not racism on two counts, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I don't think his intention is to like be I think racist. he probably was just being <clears throat> sort of ignorant that that could be seen as offensive. Maybe it was honestly the first time he'd seen- Yeah, or, maybe he was like- He'd oh, been able he to show his uh, kids- uh, an African uh, fellow. Yeah. <laughs> number one, there is no malice in that man's heart. There is fascination. There is curiosity. Okay, yeah. And number two, this it's like seeing like snow for the first time if you mm. live in like a really warm. Well, I've, I've I've heard this about white people going to other countries is that sometimes they're kind of treated with fascination because you can go to yeah. places where maybe they've actually not seen a white person in the flesh mm -hmm. before. So this is interesting. Well, I found it like my sister gone to India and she said that like people would just like want to take pictures yeah. of her and her friend or like with them kind of based on their skin color. Cause they just like, they sort of stood out. Yeah. People yeah, had, yeah. You know, so let's see, let's see this here. This happened in Tamil Nadu. <laughs> where the villager <laughs> and his whole fucking family are 10 times darker. <laughs> 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 And then the kids surround Marcus and they're playing with him and he's playing back and, and they're looking at his hand and looking at their own hand. And they touch his hair and they touch their own hair. It is one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. It is the most honest, simple, non-judgmental, naive way of acknowledging our differences. Mm. Acknowledging them because we are different, aren't we ladies and gentlemen? 
My hair is different. My skin is different. My color is different. My values are different. And it's okay to talk about that. If we just talk about the fact that we are different and acknowledge why we are different, instead of pretending that nobody is mm. different and still secretly thinking we are different, we might finally all be on the same page and be less different. Ah. Because, mm-hmm. like, people seem to nowadays, some people, it seems like, sort of take offense by just acknowledging like different features in that, where it's like there's no intention of trying to be um, judgmental over it Mm -hmm, or mm -hmm. like pose it as some sort of inferior thing or this or that. Like it's like there's nothing, it's neutral. Someone, but then someone might um, be like, well, that's racist just because like you brought it it up or you said or you made an acknowledgement. I like where he's going here. Let's hear the rest. If you took that man out of Tamil Nadu and dropped him right here in the middle of New York, <laughs> oh God. he'd walk around in Harlem just going, you black, black, you black, black, you black, 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 black. And when he got out of the hospital, <laughs> he went back, it's okay. He wouldn't understand what he has done wrong because to him, political correctness is not a concept that he understands. Right? If there's stupid shit in your head, say it once, learn, educate yourself, find out why it's wrong, never say it again. Do you agree with me, yes or no? Good, so let's start tonight. Mm -hmm. So, white people, Ah. I submit to you this. All Indians, Pakistanis, Bangladeshis, Nepalis, and Sri Lankans, we all look the fucking same. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Please, confuse us all you like. (laughs) We are essentially the same people, it's okay. The only difference between me and a Pakistani person is increased musical quality and decreased life expectancy. That's it, all right? Ah. (laughs) Ah, there we go. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, I would There's love a whole to, one. I'd love to watch this whole show. Jeez. Well, because this was from, hopefully it's still on Netflix. Yeah, what year is this from? 2017. 2017. Now, yeah, I swear I've heard, I've heard more about this guy. Uh, I'm sure he was on a talk show and I think some of you guys wanted us to check it out. So we're mm-hmm. definitely going to have to check out more. I like this guy. He's funny, but he's also like uh, a little bit serious as well too, you know? He's got some good uh, uh, lessons mm-hmm. to be learned here. So uh, I appreciate that a whole lot. And mm-hmm. <laughs> if you guys if- enjoyed it and you'd like to see us react <laughs> to more Verdots, well then... You can click the subscribe button, click the bell, choose the all from the drop down menu so you can get updated every time we upload. Uh, click the mm-hmm. like button if you enjoyed this and leave a comment down below. And please. if you're logged in, you're going to see a super thanks button. You can click that, donate some money if you're so inclined. Love you a whole lot. This is Love your Never Have Whole Daily. I already signed off. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>